Today we'd like to demonstrate our new parallel charge boards and also discuss series operation of power supplies. We have two PowerMax 45 amp power supplies here connected in series. Not all power supplies are designed for series operation and you should check with manufacturers before doing so. They have additional safeguards and grounding protection in there to avoid potentially hazardous situations for the user. To connect the power supplies in series, all that is required is a short length of jumper wire from the positive terminal on the first power supply to the negative terminal on the second. It's recommended to use a heavy gauge of wire like the 8 gauge PRC silicone wire we've used here. From the outer terminals, the negative on the first and the positive on the second, you'll connect uh, a second length of wire using our power supply to charger cable here to connect to the charger. To these two power supplies we have connected an iCharger 36B as well as one of the parallel charge boards. The parallel charge board allows for connection of up to six batteries from 2S to 6S, but it's important with parallel charging to only connect batteries of the same cell count. Here we have six 6S batteries of varying capacity, adding up to about 15,000 milliampere hours in total capacity. On the power supply, you can verify that the first power supply voltage output is 13.6 volts as well as a second. Together these two power supplies in series provide 27.2 output on the outer terminals. At higher voltage allows the charger to operate at full output and these provide over 1200 watts together. We'll charge here today lithium batteries at a full 30 amps which would equate to about a 2C charge rate in less than 30 minutes to get all six of these batteries done. The iCharger 36B is set to the default screen here out of the box which says nickel metal hydride mode. The first thing you'll want to change then is the battery type by selecting battery type and then increase or decrease until you reach lithium battery mode. There simply press enter to reach lipo balance charge mode which is always recommended for multi-cell lipos. The only thing that needs to be changed on this screen is the charge rate and we'll change from the default of 2 amps up to the full 30 amp charge rate that this charger is capable of. At that point, simply select the enter button and hold for two seconds there until the battery check starts and the charge will begin. So in the end you'll have all six batteries safely balanced charged at 30 amps in less than half an hour.